let me show you what an ad looks like when you don't have an insight in the strategy. We'll use an iconic example, Geico's 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. I'm gonna show you the strategy using the strategy on a page model. It's called a nesting strategy because inside the business problem and goal, you write the consumer problem and goal. And inside that, you usually have the insight and single-minded proposition. But with this example, we will see we just have the single-minded proposition and not the insight. To set the context, the business problem for Geico is that it's primarily an online insurance provider since it lacks the storefront presence of its competitors such as Allstate and State Farm. The business goal was to increase the number of customers by 2% year on year. They needed a heavy investment in advertising to compete against the other insurance companies. Now let's look at the spot that they have created for this. Uh oh, guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is? Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> Leslie, guess what today is? It's hump day. Woo -woo! Ronnie, how happy are folks who save hundreds of dollars switching to Geico? I'd say happier than a camel on Wednesday. Hump day! Get happy. Yeah! Get Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Geico's ads are hide the medicine strategy. They entertain you first and then they require you to take the message. The message being 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Looking for car insurance is quite a specific situation that would probably only happen in people's lives once a year. The strategy here is hopefully the tagline is seared into people's memories. So when they are looking at their car insurance bill, they might think Geico might save me 15%. The consumer problem at this moment is that they don't wanna feel like they're getting ripped off by insurance companies. The consumer goal is that they don't have to spend a lifetime looking into insurance. The single-minded proposition is show the happiness of saving 15% on your car insurance by calling Geico. The insight actually falls outside of the strategy. It is all about the absurdness of hump day and imagining if we were happy for docile camels every week. The strategy works only when you have a heavy media spend. Geico spent $2.26 billion on advertising in 2020. They're one of the biggest ad spenders in the world. It also helps if you have an amazing agency like the Martin Agency to engage people before you hit them with the message too. However, the brand has since moved to the tagline, real service, real savings. So maybe the line was too specific. My name is Julian Cole, a strategy trainer Thanks to Strategy Finishing School member Matthew Osborne for helping break down the strategy. If you took any value out of this video, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and also subscribe to this channel if you're interested in more strategy resources.